Welcome back to Kolsky RC. As on my table we have a Transtech Beetle Mini. So there's two versions, there's two Transtech Beetles out. There's a two and a half inch and the two inch. This is the two inch version. Why I went for that is I wanted something very small that I could maybe play with down in the woods here. So I can go in and, am in and amongst the trees and have some fun with. I went for the DJI version. So we've got a Vista on here. And we actually have a DJI camera. We don't have a Nebula on this, which is nice to see. Comes in around £210. I got it from the UK, from Unman Tech. It comes with, well, I'll show you actually what it comes with. Because I do have the box around here somewhere. So this is the box. Let's just show you what you get in the box. You obviously get the quad. The quad comes minus these pop guards fitted. They're in the box. Ah, actually, they're not in the box. I'll just explain that in a minute. It comes with these not fitted so you can fly it without the prop guards on. The reason I put prop guards on it, the only thing I've ever put prop guards on is because what well, I'm actually using it to fly. So, and it didn't seem to make much difference to me. I flew it with, with and without. And apart from it being a bit noisier, it didn't really make that much difference. So in the box, you don't get them. Then the replacement props are bought for it. So you get a holder for your antenna if you want to go a different antenna. Because obviously this is DJI, so I'm just using the thing, the um, trans DJI transmitter. You get a lens shade. I don't tend to use these because of the fact I get a ring round my picture. And it comes with these. These are the pop guards you get. It comes with clear plastic pop guards. So the reason I swapped is, these are the pop guards you get with it. You only get one set. These pop guards are for a King Kong E. I don't know which one it is. Is it the 130? It could be a 100. That's what these fit fit exactly the same way much 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 more flexible so much more forgiving than the transtech ones you also get a spare set of props and screws and you get three canopies if i can find the other one so the canopy it comes fitted with when you buy it is this one this is the canopy you get with it which is a smoked gray and you get a green one and you get the grey one that I've obviously fitted. And the reason I changed the canopy was I just preferred the smoke grey one. There's nothing special about it. And it all comes with an instruction, brief instruction manual showing you how to wire it up if you want to put your own transmitter in. So, quite a lot of stuff you get in the box really. Just bear with me. Just let me pause it. I'll go get a battery so I can show you what it looks like when it's... Okay, I've got a battery. So I'm flying it with this. With these, these are GNB 750s. I think these are 80C, are they? Yeah, 80 to 160C. So, them numbers mean absolutely a bugger all, obviously. But this is what I'm flying it on. I get around three and a half to four minutes. The advertised five and a half minutes is a dream because I can't get that on it. Maybe I'm a bit heavy on the throttle, I don't know. But I'm not getting that on it. It comes with XT30 connectors on the back. And that's what it looks like when you turn it on. I, ooh, you see that in the camera? Yes, there you go. So, as you can see, it's got some very nice lights on the top that you can see when you're flying it. Of course, 3DJ goggles. No, nope, you're right. I have absolutely no idea why it has a light on the top because no one can see it but you. I suppose if you're chasing this thing and you've got another drone, you might be able to see it, but you'd have to be above it and looking down at it. Because obviously, if you're behind it, you can't see anything. If you can see, I'll put it there and you can see very little. bit there, and if you're behind it, I suppose you could maybe see it. Well, it's a stretch. I have no idea where they fit it, but they do look pretty when you turn it on and show it to someone. And like I say, you get the four minutes. The flight footage looks great. There's no jello in it. There will be the video coming up at the end showing you the footage that I've shot with this from the camera. You could fit. I've seen modified mounts that you can get. I think I'm sure there's one that fits on this to put the Insta360. I haven't bothered, I'm happy enough with the footage that comes from the goggles, which is good enough for me, it's 720p, and you'll see for yourself. The antenna it comes with is a cut-off, very, very stubby antenna. You do get in the box, I think I've took it out of the box, but you do in the box get the a proper Vista antenna that it would come with if you bought the Vista in the packet. So if you bought one of these, this comes with the antenna, it's exactly the same. So you get everything that's in there in that box. It's the instructions of how to wire it. So it's just like buying a, a Vista. You know, these are like rocking horse poo at the minute, obviously. This is for another build that I've got coming up. Very shortly, I'll actually tell you about it. So the build, build is this. 
I made this a while ago now and it is actually my favourite three inch quad that I own by a mile. And this is the beetle, uh, beetle, I've got on the head. This is the ant from Flyroot, three inch. And at the minute I've got a run cam in here. So we're taking the run cam out because all that gives me the front. So I've got the run cam in here, uh, receiver and the VTX. All that's been ripped out, putting a Vista inside it. I'll have a video coming up on this and tell you what it's like. That'll be coming up soon. That is what the Vista's for. So. How do I rate it? Absolutely love the thing. Do not buy this if you're expecting a sports performance quad. It isn't. It isn't. You can do flips with it. I think I've done, I can do imum and turns with it and stuff like that. But it's not really for that. It's not smooth when it's doing it. It's designed for flying around and getting in places where you wouldn't normally get maybe and doing a bit of scenic footage or looking to just be nosy at stuff that's what it's for it's perfect for that so absolutely beautiful i wish it had longer flight time i have tried it with an 850 battery and i think it's verging on too heavy so i'm flying this on 3s you can fly this on 4s when i have tried it on 4s the motors get warm i've heard people saying they don't well i tried it on a 4s 650 and their motors got hot and it was nothing to do with weight because the 654s was exactly the same to the gram as this and these were getting hot so i haven't bothered doing that again i'm not need to because i don't really want the power and to be honest with you i did not notice a massive performance difference there was no big boost it was not ridiculously quicker it was just about it felt very similar to me the tune's probably better in my opinion on the three right i've waffled on, I've waffled on long enough the video coming up is from the like i say from the goggles enjoy it you'll see the couple of videos i've stitched together just to show you what it's like in movement and to show you what it's like from the video footage but yeah take it from me this is a nice thing there's loads of competition out for this at the minute and i've got something else coming up i've got the home fpv wingsuit which is two and a half inch and that's coming up very shortly um it's from a com new company called home fpv but is it a new company because they are trans tech in my opinion because everything that's it's got trans tech stickers in the box the ttrx stickers come in the box home fpv are obviously something to do with trans tech and that video will be coming up probably next week i've got loads of other stuff that i'm doing at the minute so i'm a bit out of schedule here so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day